Hey guys, what is up? It is Dan Lags, and in this video I am going to be teaching you guys how to download Los Angeles onto your Xbox 360 and or your PC. First off, I just want to thank you guys very much for downloading Los Angeles today. I really appreciate it after all the hard work that I put into this city. So let's get started with this tutorial. One more thing before we get started, guys, I just want to let you know that this process can be a little bit complicated. However, I'm going to try to make this as seamless as simple, as easy to follow as I can, just so you guys can do it and get Los Angeles onto your 360. So to download Los Angeles, guys, you're gonna need three things today. One, an Xbox 360, I think that's pretty obvious. Number two, you're gonna need a PC or a laptop. And then under that, you're gonna need a program called Horizon, which I'm gonna teach you guys how to download later on in the video. And then the fourth thing you're gonna need is a USB flash drive. Anything above two gigabytes should work, but honestly, you know, a really small one should work just fine because Minecraft maps are really tiny. And we're gonna start off this tutorial on the Xbox 360. So just go ahead and plug your USB into your 360 and then we'll get started with this tutorial. One more thing before we get started, guys. I'm sorry about all these little things. I just keep remembering new things that I wanna add. This only works for Xbox 360 and PC. I've said this like a bunch of times, but I just wanna reiterate it here on the tutorial video. So you cannot directly download this map to Xbox One. If you want it on Xbox One, you're going to have to download it on 360 first and then convert it over in the in-game feature. And unfortunately, this is not going to be a compatible to PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, the Wii U, or Pocket Edition. So maybe in the future, some technology will come out where I can put Los Angeles on those consoles. But as of right now, it's just 360 and just PC. So now we're finally ready to get started with this tutorial. All right, guys. So we're going to start this tutorial on the Xbox 360 dashboard. Make sure your USB drive is plugged into your Xbox. And then you want to go all the way over to the right side of the dashboard to system. And then you're going to go down to storage from here. So once you click into this, you should see your hard drive and your memory unit on display here. So what you're going to do to start off is actually configure your memory unit. So um, some of you guys may have already done this before if you've used a USB on Xbox before. But if this is the first time you've ever done it, uh, it's going to ask you to configure your memory unit. So you just basically do that. You just click yes. I've already done that, so I don't need to do that for this video. Um, but just keep in mind that it will delete everything off of your USB drive. So just make sure that you have an empty USB drive or... If, it's, if it has stuff on it, then it's just stuff you don't care about and you wouldn't worry about losing um, because it when you configure it, it will delete it so it's uh, compatible for the Xbox. So uh, once you've done that, then you can just go to your hard drive and then you want to go down to profiles and then you want to choose your profile uh, that you're going to get Los Angeles on. So my main profile is Dan Lags, but since I already have Los Angeles on my Dan Lags account, I'm going to show you guys how to do it on one of my different accounts. So I'm going to use Lemon Jets Rule 21, which is my old account. I'm going to show you guys all the way through from getting it from one account to the other, because that's essentially what you guys are doing. You're taking it from my account and putting it on your account. So we're going to do Lemon Jets Rule 21. And then what you want to do is just click move. So you go ahead and you can, if you're logged in, you just sign out and then you just move it over to your memory unit. It'll take a second, move in progress. And once that's done, guys, uh, you're pretty much good to go for the Xbox version. So if I go back here to memory unit and then I go to profiles, there it is, Lemon Jets Rule 21. So now what you can do is just go all the way back out to the dashboard and just go ahead and unplug your USB device. And when you do this, there's going to be an icon that pops up on the screen saying, please reinsert, but you can just ignore that and then leave your Xbox on and then we'll be reinserting the USB drive later with Los Angeles on your profile. So I'll show you guys kind of what that looks like right now before we move over to the PC. So as you can see, I just unplugged my USB drive and it's Xbox has given me an icon on the bottom of the screen saying, please reinsert because the profile is on the drive and uh, it's just Xbox doesn't really know what to do with that. So don't worry, you're totally good. Um, one thing I want to mention though, real quick, before we move over to PC, make sure you know like the email and password for your profile that you want to put Los Angeles on, just, just in case you make a mistake or something like that and you could potentially lose your profile. So I don't want that to happen to any of you guys. So just before you do this, make sure that you know like the email and the password for your Xbox Live account. That way, if something were to happen, you could just log right back into it. So 
Uh, that's the first part of the tutorial. We're gonna go ahead and move over to the PC. So grab your PC or laptop, go ahead and plug your USB into it, and then we'll continue with the tutorial. All right, guys, so we're here on my PC screen, and right here is the download for Los Angeles on Xbox, and then right here is the PC download. So let me show you guys how to do this. Starting off, make sure you plug in your USB drive that you just took out of your Xbox with your gamer profile onto your computer, plug that in, and then you're gonna go ahead and need to download two things, one being the map, and then one being a program called Horizon. So we're gonna start off with Horizon. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open up my browser right here. And this is actually the link to the download of Los Angeles, but we're gonna move over to Horizon. So this is a website called wemod.com. I'm gonna put the link in the description and you just go to the Horizon. It'll, I'll give you guys this exact page right here. All you gotta do is just click this download now right here and it'll give it just a second. Thanks for downloading Horizon. And then boom, it'll pop up here in the bottom, Horizon Setup EXE. Uh, just to let you guys know, some um, antivirus softwares might pick this up as like a harmful uh, program. Um, so you may need to turn off your antivirus. I personally don't have to do it. It, um, it says it's safe for me and it is, not, it is safe, don't worry. I would never link you guys to a virus or anything like that. But uh, basically all you gotta do is just open up the thing. And as you can see right now, it says safe down here on my uh, antivirus. But basically you just go ahead and install this. I already have it on my computer, so I'm not gonna go through this, but just install and then run it and uh, we will go from there. So now I'm gonna open up Horizon and show you guys uh, how to use it. All right guys, so I'm loading up Horizon right now. Uh, when you load up Horizon for the first time after you install it, um, it'll ask you for a program update. Just click no to that, you do not need to do that. And then it's gonna tell you that you're in offline mode, just click okay. And then here is the main interface for Horizon. Uh, just keep in mind, since you, many of you guys who are downloading Horizon for the first time, you're going to get a newer version than me. I've had it from on my computer for like two years, so I have a slightly older version. Uh, so there might be some slight differences in the way it looks, but I think it's still pretty much the same. Um, and of course, if you already have Horizon on this computer, then you could just skip this process overall and you, you know what you're doing. If you downloaded maps before, oh, by the way, I'd really appreciate if like anybody was having difficulty in the comments or something like that. For those of you who have downloaded maps previously and you know how to do it, if you could like help them out and like just like kind of, um, you know, help each other out, I'd really appreciate that because I know this process can be a little bit complicated. But anyway, let's go ahead and download the Los Angeles maps. So I'm going to go and open up my uh, browser again. And then this is the Mediafire link to Los Angeles on the Xbox 360 version. So I got to do is just click download right here and then it'll pop up in the bottom left corner. I'm just going to let that download real quick. Um, and I'll have the media fire link for both Los Angeles on the PC and on the Xbox. And I'll show you guys how to do the PC download at, after this. It's a lot easier, obviously. But anyway, um, I already have a Los Angeles download uh, right here. But basically, you just take that file. You can drag it to your desktop if you want. Whatever's easier for you to uh, to just locate it. And um, right, right here, I have it. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up my gamer profiles on Horizon. So we're back on Horizon here. Um, go ahead and you see my gamer profile right here, Lemon Juts Rule 21. All you got to do is actually, I recommend putting the download link or like the file onto your desktop because that way you can just drag and drop it right onto your gamer profile and then this new box will pop up. All you got to do is make sure that your profile is selected, which mine is. You click use this profile and then I already have Los Angeles on my, um, my profile, but I'll just go ahead and overwrite it. That's not going to pop up for you guys. And then after a second, you should see the loading bar on the bottom here. It'll tell you that the following packages were successfully transferred to the flash drive, Los Angeles. So you click OK, but you're not done yet, guys. There's one more thing you got to do. You got to go ahead and open up your games, go to Minecraft. And then once you have Minecraft loaded, it should show all of your maps. So here are all my maps and stuff. Uh, what you want to do is go down to Los Angeles, which mine is, I believe, right here, August 7th. That is today's date. You want to actually go ahead and slide it over here to the gray area. And then you want to go ahead and click save, rehash, and resign. So just click that. Again, it'll take a second to load, but it should say that it was successfully done. It might, you know, take a minute, but there we go. Save, rehash, and resign to device. You click OK. So guys, once you've done that process and you have moved Los Angeles to your profile and then you saved and rehashed and resigned Los Angeles under your Minecraft, maps and everything you're pretty much good to go so you can go ahead and unplug your flash drive you can close out a horizon we don't need it anymore and uh, you can go ahead and take your usb 
and then throw it back into your Xbox. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, guys, so I'm back here on the 360. I plugged my USB drive back into my 360. And once you do that, guys, the little um, icon at the bottom that said, please reinsert will go away. Then all you gotta do is go to your storage and then you want to go ahead and go to your memory unit, go down to profiles, go ahead and go to your profile, obviously mine being Lemon Jets Rule 21. And then you just wanna move your profile back to your hard drive. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And then it's basically the exact same process we did earlier in reverse. So that'll just take a second. And there we go. So now it says no items found on my USB. So if I go back to my hard drive, and then I go down to my profiles. Lemon Jets Rule 21 is right there back on my profile, ready to be played. And then the last thing you gotta do guys is go back to your memory unit. And then this time you wanna go to games and apps, go to Minecraft, and then you wanna scroll down to your save. And that is, uh, which one is it? I think it is one of these two. It, it's gonna be a lot simpler for you guys. It'll just be one map, but I have like a bunch of saves in Los Angeles. So I'm not 100% sure which one it is, but basically you just take the save and then you move it back to your hard drive, exact same um, process that you just did for your profile, and then you're good to go. So now I'm gonna go ahead and load up Minecraft and show you guys me playing Los Angeles on Lemon Jets Rule 21, therefore completing the process. All right guys, so here we are on the main menu of Minecraft Xbox 360 edition. So you wanna go ahead and click into play game when you're signed in. You can go ahead and click on your hard drive because uh, if you moved your uh, save back to your hard drive. That's where it'll be. I'm actually gonna go to my memory unit because I didn't move it back and We're gonna go ahead and click on play game again And then boom we have Los Angeles right there on my lemon jets rule 21 profile And we're gonna go ahead and open it up We'll load up the world and I'll show you guys that I can play Los Angeles Exactly the way it was when I built it on another profile so you guys can do the exact same thing So here we go. We're in the spawn area I noticed that there's like a general point. It doesn't give you an exact point, but it'll spawn you next to the monument that I built in front of the Alpine Mansion. It won't spawn you exactly like looking at it, but you'll be in the general vicinity. So I guess that's close enough. But here's the map board, guys. And then this is Los Angeles. You can feel free to explore the world and do whatever the heck you want on it. So um, that is pretty much it for the Xbox 360 version of the download. This is the more complicated part. Now I'm going to transition the video, guys, and I'm going to show you how to download Los Angeles to PC Minecraft if you would like to do that instead. It's a lot easier process. Hey guys, one more thing before we move back to the PC. Obviously, once you have Los Angeles onto your Xbox and you have an Xbox One as well, you can go to save options and upload Los Angeles to your Xbox One if you want to play on that console instead. Unfortunately, you can't go straight to Xbox One, but if you have a 360 and a One, you can play on either or. So I uh, just wanted to mention that real quick. And now let's go ahead and show you guys how to do it on the PC. All right, guys, we're back on the PC again. And now I'm going to show you how to download Los Angeles to PC Minecraft. I'm sure many of you guys already know how to do this, um, especially if you're downloading it to the PC. I'm sure you've downloaded a map before, so this will come easy to you. But I'm still going to go over it anyway. All right, so here's how you do it. First off, we need to get the Los Angeles download. So again, I'm going to have a link in the description to the PC download. It'll take you to this page right here. You just click the download link right there. And it's going to give you Los Angeles PC .rar at the bottom left. So I'm going to go ahead and take this and I'm going to copy it right over to my desktop here. I'm going to minimize this. Um, this was another version of it. I'll just move that over there. That's not important right now. So we're just going to work on this one right here. And then what you want to do next is go ahead and make a new folder. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a new folder. And I'm just going to title it LD, just nice and simple. Move this up here. And basically what you want to do is basically open up this um, RAR file and you're going to need WinRAR for this. I'm sure that many of you guys have WinRAR already, but if you don't, I'll go ahead and put a link to how to download WinRAR in the description. I'll just give you guys the, uh, the website link for WinRAR, which is kind of hard to say. It's a little bit of a tongue twister, but anyway, I'm sure, like I said, many of you guys probably have it. So if you do have WinRAR, just go ahead and double click onto the RAR file for Los Angeles, close out of that. And basically you want to click into the Los Angeles thing. You're going to have a bunch of saves right here, a bunch of files. And basically you're just going to take all of these files here and you're just going to go ahead and move them, boom, right into there, extract them into this folder. And now you have an LD folder with all of these files in it. These are all the files you need to play Los Angeles on the PC. So we can close out of that. We can close out of WinRAR. And then what you want to do is go ahead and click, uh, hold down window, the window key on your computer. Obviously this is on Windows. 
um, and then click R and it'll open up your run page here and you want to just go ahead and click app, uh, percent app data percent and click OK that just type that in right there nice and simple click OK and it'll load up your roaming and there's, there's other ways to get to this but that's just how I do it it'll open up your roaming right here and you want to go ahead and click into dot minecraft and then you're going to want to go ahead and click into your saves once you're in your dot minecraft folder you open this up and here are all my saves so now all you got to do is just take your ld folder that you just made and just drag it right into this folder boom we have ld right here i have so many different ld versions but um this is the one that you're going to want so now you're good you can go ahead and click out of this and then you can load up your Minecraft and play Los Angeles on PC. All right, guys, now here I am on PC. Just go ahead and click into single player. And here are all the worlds. Los Angeles right here at the top should be the first one. And it should say LD right underneath because that's what I named my folder. So all you got to do is go ahead and click into it, load it up, and boom. Just like that, we are playing Los Angeles on the PC version of Minecraft. And obviously, there's a lot more, you know, features here on the PCs. So it is fun if you would like to do this as well. So that's going to conclude the tutorial section of this video, guys. Hopefully, you were able to download Los Angeles onto your Xbox 360 and your PC if you chose to do that. Before I end this video, though, I just want to make a quick message to the developers of console Minecraft, whether it be 360 or PS3 or Wii U or whatever, 4J Studios. I just want to respectfully ask them to consider creating a feature within the game that allows us to share maps easier. Uh, as of right now, you can't share maps between players on console version of Minecraft, and I feel like that's hindered the growth of console Minecraft in general, because uh, one of the big things about PC is creating maps and sharing them with others, and you really can't do that on Xbox at all, so um, I'm just asking them to consider putting in a feature that allows people to share maps that could be like some sort of leaderboard system where there'd be like a list of the top downloaded maps that people can choose from and then you could share maps in between friends. I'm not sure how difficult something like this would be to develop, but all I'm asking is for them to consider something like this just so it makes the process of downloading maps and transferring maps between players a lot easier because as of right now, it's a pretty complicated and unnecessarily tedious process at this point. So um, just a little quick um, announcement that I just kind of wanted to make here, but Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Hopefully, you were able to download Los Angeles. If you did, I really appreciate it. And be sure to check out the full tour video, which is also going up today. The link to that will be in the description if you want to watch the full tour of Los Angeles completely done. And, uh, guys, this is a big day for me on my channel, releasing this map after three years of work. I really appreciate the support all this time. And now you guys can finally play the map. So thank you guys so much for watching. It's been Dan Lags. I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Peace out.